Hey, this is Peggy with Easy Peasy Machine Embroidery, and today I am in my Sonet Silver and anything above that. And the topic is when to save as a VP3 file versus a VP4 file. So let's begin. I am in the platinum version, but this, like I said, will work from uh, anything silver and above. And I am first going to go into the create module and in over into digitizing. And I am going to hit cancel here and insert embroidery. And I am going to go down to this terrier that I created. And then I'm going to go up into Quick Create. And I'm just going to add a couple of shapes. And I'm going to hit Cancel here. And it shows up on my screen. And I'm going to go back into digitizing. And I'm going to hit cancel again. And quick create. And then I'm going to go and get a few stars. I'm going to change my color to yellow. And... I'm going to change my line to a satin stitch and I'm going to move this up here and I'm going to shrink it up a little bit and I'm going to copy and paste and you can do that by doing copy and paste and why do you not use duplicate because duplicate will put it just off to the side of the design that you're copying so if i do this copy and just for kicks and giggles i'm going to insert a color change And now I'm going to do a paste and it did paste right on top. So that's not what I really wanted to show you, but did I actually copy? We're going to do duplicate. Okay. That's where it showed up. So duplicate, see how that uh, put it just off? The design it didn't line it up perfectly that's what duplicate does anyway going back a little bit i'm gonna hit the x here so there's my stars there's the first dog um let's say i would like uh some hearts added to there Now, if you notice over here, you have these little um, dotted lines on both of these. That means that you can click on them, right click, and still go into edit as, uh, uh, in digitizing. So if you click on edit and digitizing, it's going to throw you right back into the digitizing program. And there are your stars. So you can take those stars and still um, insert a color change. You can go into properties and change the property of the fill. And right now, if you were to look at these one of those stars has the fill and the others do not now if i do a right click and do select global properties i can change that fill to 
something else and it will change every single one of those and that would be throughout the whole design so you have to be careful with that all right so let's go back out here so these in essence are kind of you know what we would call grouped um, they were digitized as one file I can take this and this by highlighting them and I can say group those two together once they're grouped I cannot go back in and digitize it and do editing and things like that but once I ungroup them the digitizing feature is still there I can slide parts of the piece parts of this design around so if I want the stars on top of the heart I can do that and I can say now I want them grouped so anyway moral of the story if I do a file and I do a save as and I'm just gonna put it in my cloud and I'm gonna create a new folder called video sample so right now I'm saving it as a VP4 format and I'm just gonna call it file one and now I'm going to do an export and I'm going to do an export to VP3 I have not combined anything within the software or color sorted or anything like that so be careful what you leave unchecked here so I'm just gonna say one exported and now I'm going to close out my software actually I'm just going to get rid of those files now I'm going to reopen these files so say they've been in the Sonet cloud for a few days I want to go back to it and start working with them again so I'm going to do an insert number one exported okay guess what I cannot go back and edit those things they have as as a mentor has has taught me we call that bake the cake once you have combined and sorted and all that happy stuff you cannot and then and then you saved it you cannot go back and undo it you cannot go back and change it once you've been combined saved colors uh, combined and colors sorted and exported okay we'll get rid of that now we're going to go back into insert and I can ungroup them because it's a VP4 and I can still right click and go in edit and digitizing because I saved it as a VP4 so I can go in here and let's see I can go in here and change that Sun that moon into a Sun now I think 
And you know what? That didn't work because guess what? It was all grouped. So we are going to ungroup it. All right, there we go. So I'm going to double click over here and I'm going to say properties. And now I'm going to change it to yellow. And color me a different color because guess what? I wasn't on the right color to start out with. So I need to go down to the gray and change it. There we go. All right. So pay attention to what you're changing over here. Okay. If you click on this and it doesn't get that box, you can go to home and do select box because sometimes you just get this and you're wondering, okay, what do I do with it? So go to the home tab box, select, and you're good. This little thing right here, changes the angle of whatever fill you're using and let me while i'm in here let me right click one more time after i get these little nodes and i'm going to instead of a pattern fill i'm going to change it to that kind of fill and I can move this around. Or I can do a multi-wave fill. And I'm going to tune that down to a 5 instead of a 20. So there's your multi-wave. So you can mess with any of those fills that you want. And... The density, if I tune that back up to a 20, see what we got. So get in there and play with those kinds of things. Anyway, so let's go back out. So I have changed all those things. I can still take those stars and move them around. File save as number one do you want to replace it yes so that is the difference between vp3 and vp4 okay if i were to go even in even in this file if i were to go into combine all and color sort and I were to save it right now notice how the digitizing effect went away notice how I can't ungroup things anymore so when you are building designs don't do any of that leave it as is do a save as to a VP4 and then you can reopen and go back in and change things around that would be the difference between VP3 and VP4, okay? I hope I was clear in that. Um, like and subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. That would be great. And I'll catch you later. Bye.